classic experiment gives us some insight. First, a sponge is cut into small pieces. Then it's pushed through a sieve at the end of a syringe. This breaks the animal down into its individual cells. This may seem a brutal thing to do to a living organism, but to a sponge, this is of no consequence. In response, it does something quite astonishing. The cells begin to move, and then they form clumps. Soon the clumps form bigger clumps. Until three weeks later, a miniature sponge has formed. Sponges have this amazing capacity to regenerate themselves. And what we can do is actually rebuild a sponge from the cell level up. From this experiment, we can maybe infer a few things that happened 600 million years ago with the very first animals. We can infer that there were cells coming together. They could adhere to each other. They used extracellular proteins like collagen to glue themselves together. They had the ability to communicate with each other and they had a certain amount of flexibility that allowed them to interact to give rise to something that's bigger and greater, a large macroscopic multicellular animal. 